welcome back to another maze plus video and this time we're going to be looking at feeding cows this is probably going to be slightly longer than the other feeding videos because there is a lot more to go into with cows first off let's have a look at how their feeding has changed so rather than the three bars that you are used to we have four bars that are all eaten from Equally with Maze Plus installed, if you add in the animal food additions, then it becomes 40%, 30%, 20%, and 10%. Um, cows will, with Maze Plus added, cows will eat more food, they will use more straw, and they will produce more milk for the dairy cows. For beef, they will eat more food and use more straw. Um, if you have the animal food additions enabled, then cows will eat significantly more about 10 times more than in fs19 with seasons just to give you a rough idea you will get for the dairy cows significantly more milk significantly more manure and significantly more slurry holsteins produce better than brown swiss once you've got the animal food additions enabled and then for the beef cattle you will get significantly more manure and significantly more slurry for putting in more food and more straw Next, let's have a look at what makes up each of the different food groups. So the first one is base food, and that is made up of either whole crop silage, which comes from wheat, barley, or oats. Maize silage comes from maize cut with a forage harvester. Uh, you can bale that or make it in a pit. Um, or grass silage, which comes from grass, obviously. Um, next is the roughage or hay group, and that is either hay or alfalfa hay. Next is the moisture food group, which is potato cut or sugar beet cut. So those come from putting potatoes or sugar beets through the front loader bucket, which will cut them. Brewers grain or brewers grain silage and beet pulp or beet pulp silage. I have a video on making both of those. And then lastly, we have the power food group. So that is mineral feed. So either of the two mineral feeds that are available grain grist so you can either buy that in the store or you can make it with the feed mill from wheat oats and barley um we have beet pellets so at the moment you can only buy those in the store i'm sure in time there will be mods that you can make them uh soybeans or canola if you are using the realism add-on animal grazing then that will feed all four of your bars be aware that you will need a lot of grass to feed your cows as i said earlier cows eat significantly more um so you know a pen like this would not graze many cows at all maybe not even one um another in useful point is that the feed robot does not work with maize plus it cannot feed enough to keep the cows fed Another option for feeding your cows is concentrated feed or power feed. This is available to buy in the store through Maze Plus, and this will feed the base food, moisture food, and power food bars. So you could feed this and hay, and that would cover all of your feeding requirements. Another option, a lot like sheep, is that you can feed cows fresh grass. So if you mow grass without mowing conditioning, so you get fresh or wet grass, load that into a feeding wagon you can take it over to the cow shed and that will feed again three of the four sliders so it will cover base food moisture food and power food so you could do fresh grass and hay and that would cover all of your requirements as well we then move on to the feed mixer um, and the feed mixer for maize plus has changed compared to fs19 and is significantly changed compared to the base game if you didn't use maze plus in fs19 um, so i have the hud open which is showing the ratios the first one is the base game ratio so that's as would be for base game play so that means you could make a tmr from silage and that would be whole crop silage not grass or maize silage and hey grass hay um you could add in some straw and some mineral feed if you wanted the cool thing now is you can press the Y button and you can change the mixture. And um, so there are a number of mixtures built in as standard and you can edit those. And I will show you how to do that in a separate video on editing all of the feeding and features to do with animals in Maze Plus. 
Um, so this more realistic option includes pretty much everything you could think of wanting to feed. So you have a minimum of 20% of maize silage and grass silage. So that's the first two bars you can then add in in different amounts. If you want, the rest of these have no minimum, so you've just got to make it up to 100%. You can use whole crop silage, clover silage, alfalfa silage, beet pulp silage, beet pulp, mineral feed, grain grist, molasses, water, hay, CCM, beet pellets, sugar beet cut, potato cut. So many different options, and you can completely customize this as well as you want to, as you're playing with maize plus using the animal food additions as I said there'll be a separate video on that because it's quite in depth and a little bit more work outside of the game next we have another recipe which is labeled as the beef cattle recipe you can use these for whatever you want it's just to give them a name they all have the same effect in that they fill all four bars in the cattle shed and i'll show you that in a moment this one is uh minimum 20% maize size, you can see that in the top bar there, um, and then also a um, minimum of alfalfa or clover hay, bit different. Um, and we've then got options for beet pulp, beet pulp silage, sugar beet cup, potato cup, molasses, water, and mineral feed. Um, next one, we have a recipe for young stock. So if you're feeding up your young stock, this is a mixture of at least 20% hay, at least 10% grass silage or maize silage, 15% grass silage or maize silage, at least 10% straw, and then mineral feed, filtered water, and molasses. Um, we have another option for dairy cattle. Again, these are all just different options. So this one, you've got 25% maize silage or grass silage, 20% hay, and then options from brewer's grain silage, mineral feed, grain mix, water, and molasses. Um, so yeah, you can do all of these as you want. You can also make pig food in here. Um, we're talking about cows, so I'm not going to mention that. Should have probably covered that in my cow in my pig feeding video. Um, so let's make some TMR. I am going to use the realistic mixture. Um, I have a bunch of stuff set up over here. Um, something to bear in mind when you are making TMR is some things you can't put in first. So the liquids, I have some molasses over here, you can't put those in first. And things like the mineral feed, you can't. You need to start with something sort of a silage or a hay or that kind of thing. Um, so I am going to be a bit cheaty on this just to make my life easier. And we're going to use a bit of super strength just to get everything in the mixer Um so I have some maize silage going in. I mean, you can see as we get close to the mixer, so if you, this happens if you're in a vehicle as well, we have a HUD pop-up at the bottom, which tells you the percentages of everything, what you have in there at the moment, and the percentage, and what you can put in. Um, that is, you know, just so good, I think, for making it much easier to make your TMR. And this pops up, and you can adjust it. You can see in the F1 menu there, the U key changes the radius that it is displayed at. I'm going to up that a bit. And then the Y key turns it on and off. But if you don't want it, or if you're trying to get that nice cinematic for YouTube, you can turn it off or you can have it on. It is entirely up to you. Yes, I know this is not realistic. Throwing bales in wrapped with super strength on. This is purely just to demonstrate making a mixture for you guys watching. Um, there are yeah, infinitely many ways and I misbehave but there are, seriously bail is possessed um, there are infinitely many ways you can make a valid TMR um, so you know you could with this mixture you could just use grass silage and maize silage and you would have a valid TMR job done crack on um, you know, but we are now adding in some whole crop silage to boost this pad this out just a little bit um, and then we're just going to pick some of the random things that I've got sat around the yard at the moment we have a TMR it's, uh, it looks like we're a bit short on maize silage actually we could probably do it with another bale of that um, so I'm actually going to grab that from the store 
nothing like a well-planned tutorial video. So we'll just buy that. Just so we've got a bit of capacity for putting in a few other items. Um, but everything is in the green, so this is a valid TMR mixture. Um, I am going to pull up ahead. We've got a little bit of space left, so I think I'm just going to sweeten this mixture up with a little bit of molasses. Um, so you can now see the molasses bar is slowly creeping up. Um, so there are so many ways you can make TMR with this recipe. With this particular one, you just need 20% maize silage and 20% grass silage. There are all the others available and you can customize them as much as you want. If you wanted, you could feed your cows cake. Um, you know, it's entirely up to you. If you're interested in a dazed potato factory mod, you could use the waste potatoes from that either as a, a feed category or as an element in your TMR. I'll cover that sort of stuff in the editing feed video. Um, there, there's just too much to cover in one video with this really, I think. So we'll just pull up. I'll get it so it lets me unload. And there we go. I did already have a little bit of feed in here from feeding some power food, but you will see once the save has gone away that we are increasing all four bars. And there we go. That is our cows all fed. I think that's everything feeding cows. May not be absolutely complete. There may be some things in the data files that you spot that I have missed. Um, this should give you a basis to get started. It's recommended that you use the animal food additions. That does mean that your cows are going to eat a lot more. A lot more. You don't want a cow shed with 240 cows in it. If you have one of those, you will be in for a surprise. Um particularly with cows and the animal food additions, it is set up for at least three day seasons. And I would expect with three day seasons running or three day months to be feeding every day at least once. Um, the more days you have in the month, probably the easier it gets, particularly if you have a lot of animals. Um, if you have a cow shed with 240 cows in it, you are going to need to be feeding them multiple times a day, probably. Um, but you are going to be swimming in milk, manure and slurry. Um, the extra feed that they use is compensated for with the outputs that you get. So, you know, think when you're setting up your farm with Maze Plus, start small. If you've got an established farm, think about whether you need all those animals. As I said, there will be a separate video on uh, the Animal Food Editions mod and editing the feed, particularly for things like cows where you might want to customize your own TMR, but I'll cover all of the animals in that. I'll cover if you want them to eat a bit less or eat a bit more or produce more milk or more manure or use less of something. I will cover as much as I can in that video. It is going to be pretty heavy on XML. Um, the Animal Food Editions mod is set up so that there are just two files in there that you need to edit. It makes it much simpler than messing around in the main Maze Plus mod. Much less chance of you getting things wrong. It's also much easier if you're doing things like multiplayer because you can easily, you know, re-upload a small file versus the whole of the Maze Plus mod. So I think that just leaves me to say that if, if you have questions, then leave a comment below or if they're a bit more in-depth there is a link below for the maze plus discord where you'll find me a bunch of other people that can help you be polite ask intelligent questions it is not the place to go and spam things uh, if you're new to my channel click the subscribe button i have loads of maze plus content on here um, i am a member of the farming agency and these are the official farming agency tutorials uh, and last but not least, 
if it was useful click the like button we do not smash like buttons here if you smash the like button you have to buy me a coffee and i think that's it catch you later